What's your favorite Excel function and why? Oh, yeah, like I think that's the most tricky question. It's hard to pick just one. Oh, this is easy. This is the easiest question you've asked me all day. <laughs> uh, uh, but I would really choose to, to use pivot tables. Why? Because once you have tons of data, a pivot table can just summarize everything quite quickly. Tactical analysis. You don't need to kind of experiment with like crazy formulas. You just have an overview of the data and then, yeah. So pivots. Well, for anyone who's downloaded my templates, you know, I've got tons of e-lookups in there. You know, so that's just the standard, you know, VLOOKUP, uh, you know, super functional, of course. I think an ex in FPNA, goal seek is one of those powerful <laughs> ones, you see? Not mm -hmm. especially now, but uh, even before this, uh, to run your sensitivities, to understand where you have to be at this particular parameter, a driver, in order to achieve that, that, and that. So to me, it was really uh, one of those that I like. Nine out of 10 people would say VLOOKUP, <laughs> or if they're showboating, they might say HLOOKUP. But if you interview a financial modeler, they almost never say that. They will say something like some product or index and match. Uh, I would say some product, although I'm aware that if you use it too much when you, it's not needed, it's the one formula to rule them all, but it also does have a bit of a, um, a processing demand. I'd say the, the function I cannot live without is Power Query. I'm gonna toot your own horn there, Paul, and uh, get on the Power Query train. Like, everyone needs to learn how to use Power Query. I'd say combined pivot tables and pivot charts. Real easy to get a perspective on those categories. My context can alter our perspective. How are we performing based on those categories, maybe over a period of time? right, month by month, week by week. It is, it is an amazing set of tools. Mm -hmm.